Okay, I warn you, this is bad. <laughs> this has become a dumping ground. Wait for it. Yes, that is a playpen with a mat inside it on top of the bunk bed. I have some washing in here because it rained very heavily yesterday. That is a blind that Tom was supposed to put up the other day. And yes, that is a swimming nappy. Why? I don't know. More washing. Some tools on top of clean washed bedding. Yeah, why? What is wrong with men? Sorry, that sounded very anti-men. I'm not anti-men, but um, that is annoying. These are some random pillows. I genuinely don't know where they came from. I don't remember. This situation has been in here for a while. That is a box for a handbag that I want to sell. And it looks like there are some backpack bags in there. God knows. Loads of random books. I honestly think I'm going to declutter nearly all of the books in here because Tom's kids are not interested in them whatsoever. Maybe they are, their mums, I don't know, but they don't read when they are. <laughs> and there are so many books, oh my god. I'm not even going to show you the fish tank because it is vile. Tom clearly hasn't washed it out for ages. The fish are nothing to do with me. I have far too much on my plate already. I am not going to add cleaning a fish tank to that. Liam, my stepson, is a hoarder of these pop figures. <laughs> He's a collector, not a hoarder. I jest, but it's quite funny. These are all here because they were neatly under here and then of course Ottilie was playing with them so they're all over the place. That random bowl is from my kitchen but clearly it's been used for the fish and that looks like nail varnish. This is Tom's mum buying random clothes for Matilda. Yeah, this room is basically bringing me out in hives and I want to cry. Inside those drawers, which we can't even access yet, there is another whole load of crap that probably just all needs to be decluttered. I would like to point out the reason why the bed sheet is not on are because as much as I do basically, well, Tom, to be fair, he does do some housework, but he does work a lot, but I essentially do like pretty much everything. But I refuse to make the beds, these bunk beds, because the mattresses are too big for the beds. So basically we had some mattresses from some other beds and they were too big because the single beds were like quite big and these bunk beds are obviously smaller and we didn't really want to have to go out and buy two more mattresses and Tom point blank was like, no way, but it really hurt. <laughs> And I swore blind that I would never, ever make the beds again. I do sometimes put the duvet covers on but um, and the pillows, but not the sheet. So, as you can see, that is why that's been like that since the kids last stayed over, which was about three weeks ago. That's what happens when I try to get Tom to do some housework. Don't know what that is. Fish food there. So, yeah, basically this room needs sorting out. Obviously, that blind is not up. And look how filthy the windows are. I don't know if you can even see that, but they are grim. Anyway, I will probably put you on a time lapse because this is just a lot. Honestly, I am like so done. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not like depressed or anything, but I am burnt out and I feel like you're my emotional support animal right now, so I'm just gonna stop. <laughs> Okay, well, after that little marathon, it is looking much, much better. Definitely not perfect. I'm just about to um, give that fish tank a little bit of a wash after saying that I wasn't gonna get involved. I now feel really bad for the fish, so I'm just gonna clean like the top bit of glass and like try and do the inside bit a little bit. The window sills were absolutely filthy dirty, so I've cleaned them. Not everything is not perfect. It needs like a really, really good going over, but I just did what I can. I've made the beds apart from the sheet. <laughs> Underneath there, the sheet is not on. This is looking a lot better. You might have seen that I put a lot of the books back in there and also pretty much everything that I found back in those drawers because I want to wait until the kids are here this weekend to actually like properly get rid of anything because I just want to check with them obviously. These books I've pretty much gone through and we're definitely going to keep those because if they don't want them Otty well <laughs> slash I am interested in them. There's some actually really cool ones like Human Anatomy, Animals, Ancient World, Shakespeare. Oh my god I'm such a nerd. Anyway there are as you can see literally like literally hundreds. We got given a load of books a few years ago which is why we have so many. Pretty much all of these we didn't 
didn't actually buy, someone gave them to us. These two look a bit weird, so I'm definitely gonna just take those to charity. And then this is literally a box of mixed rubbish, recycling, um, and just random stuff that I'm going to sort out into the correct bins in a second. Oh, and there's one of Otty's socks randomly in here. The playpen I took apart, obviously. I actually don't know what this bag is doing in here. I'm not sure quite what to where to put it yet, I need to speak to Tom. Also, I'm gonna come back in and hoover in a minute because there's loads of like, these horrible like flying bug things everywhere. Now I need to sort this out. That pile is to go in Otty's room, but she's having a nap. The blind is obviously to go up in here. The hoover, I'm gonna hoover. That nappy also needs to go in Otty's room. These pillows, I'm gonna put a backpack in there. I might show you that actually. The playpen, oh, Steve, that is one of my socks randomly in there, which is filthy. So I've obviously been outside in them. That fish thing needs to go back in. That's cleaning stuff to be washed. That's my work phone. That bag I need to sell. I might do that with you. I'm not sure, probably not in this video though. I've got way too much to do. That room is, I don't know if I've actually told you this, but Tom's brother, girlfriend and baby <laughs> are living with us at the moment. Temporarily, very stressful. Um, actually it's not too bad, but basically they're moving to Spain and their rental ended and they couldn't get anything short enough. Anyway, you don't care about that. Otty, should we play with your tambourine instead? Cause I think these poles are a little bit dangerous. Can mummy have them? Thank you. What about this one, please? Oh, thank you. That's so nice of you, Otty. Let's put them up here for a minute. Otty, should we play with your tambourine? It's very tidy in here now, isn't it, sweetie? Come on. Come on. Wee! Let's play with this and we'll get your book. Yeah? Look who I found. Mummy's gonna quickly put these in the bag. And then we'll go back downstairs. I need to figure out where these came from. So I literally don't know. Oh, phew. These are not very good for small otties. Actually, they're not for eating, darling. You can help Mummy use the pump instead. Because I've just realised I've unplugged the hoover. Silly Mummy. You play with this one. Look, Otty. Shall we do this? Oh no, is this the right one? I bet this is the wrong one. Oh no, it's the wrong one. Will it still work? I don't think it's going to work, Otty. Oh no. You play with that. You like playing with that. Yes, that's it, Bunny. That's very clever of you. That is very clever. Okay, I think we're going to have to plug the hoover in for a second. Let me turn it down to the one that's not noisy. Yeah? Oh look! There we go! There we go! That's finished now! Look! That's so clever! It's Mr. Giraffe with a hairy mane. Okay, shall we go shall we go downstairs now and play? Mummy's finished doing all this silly stuff. Well, Ottilie is trying to help me do this bag photography to sell it. I have, I've not been filming this, sorry. I'm just trying to get it done. Today is a very strange day. Otty is, has not had proper nap. She's had like one random late nap instead of a morning nap and an afternoon nap. So no idea, but never mind. Are you okay? <laughs> and actually also Tom is, um, tends to put things on eBay for me because I just don't have time. Basically, you just want to make sure you take photos in really good natural daylight is like the ideal because you want it to be the photos to be good and clear obviously with anything like this this is not designer fairfax and favor just like a kind of country brand but really good quality but not like mega expensive and actually this i was gifted this a while ago but i just don't use it and i'd rather have the space and potentially hopefully some cash from it so i'm telling it is literally brand new i well i've worn it I think once, but I did just really excitingly find lots of pounds in it. Six, seven pounds. I also found um, an old face mask, which is nice, and a hair clip, which is always handy, and some business cards, which are old, and some hair bands. So that was fun. Ottilie is having great fun in the box, aren't you, darling? It's very fun, isn't it? You've got some lunch on your top and something funny in your hair. <gasps> what are you eating? 
Oh no. What is it? Mummy see? Oh, what is that? Who on earth knows? Anyway, yes, yeah, so you basically just want to take lots of different angles, take a photo of the inside if we're talking about a bag here. Obviously, if it comes with a dust bag, definitely sell it with a dust bag. I also still have the box. So, you know how I always tell you to get rid of boxes or like appliance boxes or anything like that? Definitely, yes. But if you have anything designer or like high-end, high street, sorry, or like anything luxury, definitely, if you're thinking about selling it at some point in the future, definitely keep the dust bags in the box because it it does add value to it or prevent it from like reducing or making what well, I can't think of the right word but anyway you know what I mean definitely not with like just bog standard high street or supermarket shop stuff like definitely not but yeah anything that might get some value keep the dust bags and the boxes that is what I'm saying there we go hopefully it will sell Good morning. Okay, first of all, I've just filmed this whole section of the video and then there was a memory card error and it didn't film any of it, which is amazing. Secondly, I wasn't going to show you me <laughs> remaking my bed after washing the bed sheet, but the reason I am is because I thought just a very quick tip before my linen cupboard organization video goes live. I do bedding parcels before when I just filmed this bit earlier, this whole situation was inside this one pillowcase. And so I put all of the, pillow the pillowcases, the sheet and the duvet cover inside one pillowcase. And then it just means it's like a bundle and you can literally just go and grab it. This is really great if you have anyone else, like your partner or anyone who makes the bed or like if your kids make their own bed, they can just go and grab a parcel and that's it. They don't have to kind of root around and try and find pillowcases and sheets and duvet covers. So it just makes your life so much simpler. But some of my clients absolutely hate that thought. They like the linen cupboard laid out with pillowcases, sheets, double sheets, single sheets, etc. And if you want to do that, that's totally fine as well. But I just thought I would mention my little, now very messy, <laughs> pillow bedding parcel. Talking of the linen cupboard video, I actually found the footage yesterday and oh my goodness, I don't know if I mentioned before, but I've lost like quite a lot of weight in the last few months and it really, really shows. Oh my goodness, wow. So that will be interesting to see. But yeah, I totally reorganized my linen cupboard and I actually put everything into baskets, which I will talk to you about in that video. It's kind of working, it's kind of not. So I will show you and tell you what I recommend. Anyway, I'm just gonna quickly make the bed. 